Stories from the Bible by Thomas Nelson Publishing. Today's story is the childhood of Jesus. On a cold, dark night, many years ago, a little baby boy was born. His mother called him Jesus. The baby's mother was called Mary, and her husband was Joseph. Shepherds from nearby and wise men from far lands went to see Jesus because he was a special baby. The king of the country, which was called Judah, was King Herod. He did not go to see the baby. He was angry when he heard that Jesus was born. He was said that Jesus was to be king over his people. King Herod did not want this king in his country. He had a very cruel plan. All the little children two years old and under would be killed. And that way he could be sure that Jesus would not live. One night, Joseph had a dream. In the dream, he saw King Herod, and he heard his plan. Joseph knew that the baby Jesus was in great danger. He heard a kind voice say to him, Take Mary and the child away from this place. Go to Egypt and stay there until it is safe. Joseph woke up, and he put all they needed into a bag, and he untied the donkey. Mary woke up too. She lifted the baby Jesus and held him close to her. Then she climbed onto the donkey and Joseph led them out of the town. They walked many miles until they reached Egypt. There they lived for a short time. One day, Joseph heard that King Herod had died. His son had become king in his place. Joseph decided to return to his own land, but to keep away from the big towns. They made their way back to the little town of Nazareth. There, they unpacked and tried to make their home comfortable. Rugs were laid on the floor. Mary washed the cooking pots and ground some corn to make bread. Joseph was a carpenter. He began to make wooden tables and yokes for oxen so that they could earn a living. In this poor little home, Jesus grew from a baby to a boy. When he was about six years old, he went to school. He learned to read, and he was told stories about Moses and David. He helped Joseph to put away the tools at the end of the day. He asked Mary and Joseph many questions. Sometimes Mary and Joseph were surprised that Jesus knew so much. Every year, Mary and Joseph went with the other village people to the big city of Jerusalem. They joined together in a special meal. They sang songs and said prayers to God. When the boys were 12 years old, they could go with their parents. Jesus was glad when he could go too. It was a long way to Jerusalem, but at last they reached the city and made camps. In Jerusalem, there was a large building called the temple. Inside the temple sat many clever teachers who read books to the people about God. Jesus listened and talked to the teachers for a long time. They were surprised at what he knew. 
Jesus decided to stay in the temple. He slept curled up in the corner near the walls of the temple, and early the next morning he went inside again. The other people were packing up and starting back home. All day long they walked, stopping at night to eat and rest. Mary saw that Jesus was not with them. She ran looking for Jesus, but she could not find him. She was very worried in case he had been hurt. Joseph and Mary walked all the way back to Jerusalem looking for Jesus. Let us go and look in the temple, said Joseph. That was the last place where he was seen. They found Jesus with the teachers, talking and listening. We have been so worried about you, said Mary. Why did you stay behind when we left yesterday? Jesus said, I thought you would know that I was in my father's house and that I have his work to do. Mary and Joseph were happy they had found Jesus, and they often thought about his words. This is the childhood of Jesus.